All right, fellow Vikings, welcome back. This time, we've got a storm coming. So, with the storm coming, I have to get ready for the animals to be able to be inside and be fed and be warm as much as possible. Um, obviously, I'm not going to stall the cattle that I have in the field. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to make sure that these kids back here are able to be warm, especially the newborns. Um, the one who's having walking issues, um, how do I put this? He's still alive. He's doing okay. He's having trouble eating because of his foot. Um, I still need to monitor the situation, but I'm going to put uh, Mama in here with, uh, with a feeder and with the babies and let them like give him the best chance because in there she's not going to be as mobile and that's his issue is he's having a pro he's pro having problems uh, walking to catch up when she decides to move. Um, and in there, she has plenty of food and everything. And we're going to have uh, snow for the next few days anyways. Um, yeah, with, with the other goats, I'm probably going to put them inside of my uh, corral. And let, let them stay. Yeah, you're going to go in the corral. Let them stay in the corral where I'm able to easily hay them. Um, my, my, uh, my cattle are probably also going to go in the corral. Um, I have to keep Sheldon, my buck, in his own stall so that he's uh, he's not uh, re-impregnating these girls too quickly. I, I can't, or sorry, it's not responsible of me to have them back-to-back -back, uh, um, pregnant like that. that. That's just not responsible, um, at, at least for me. All right, other, other, other people have their own breeding programs with my breeding program. I don't need to have 10 or 15 uh, kids a year. All right, all I need is like uh, three to five, and we sh we're, we're, we're good on, on goat meat. Uh, my dad doesn't really eat it, so it's, uh, I have to tell him it's lamb. If I tell him it's, it's lamb, he'll eat it, but otherwise, no. Let's get to work. I see you uh, beat me here to the barn. <laughs> uh, there's a stall right here. That's the one I'm going to be putting Sheldon in. Right now he's playing with his toys. I'll show you his toys in a second. Um, but the, the stall that he's in, that's the one I'm going to put uh, uh, Solstice real quick. Look at this. This is too cute. You see them? What are you guys doing? Playing with toys? So this this two by four is just placed across because this little guy who's uh, got about a month left to live, um, he's going in the freezer. Uh, he likes to jump on here and spill their their feed. I'm trying to get him a little bit more weight so he's at a good slaughter size. Um, but that bar that keeps him from jumping up there as much. See that? He's like, well, how do I get up there? I had to put a cattle panel on top of here because he literally jump, jumps out of it. Um, Sheldon here, this is his toy right here. Look at this. It's a two by four. But look, there you go, buddy. He just plays with his toy. And then we got some feed bags, some hay, and hi, Lynn. How you doing, baby? You having a good day? Yeah? Oh, you want up? Daddy's got to work real quick, and then we'll then we'll go play with, with uh, Cheryl, okay? Speaking of Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl, girl. How you doing this morning? Hey. Hey, how you doing? You going to be friendly yet? So Cheryl isn't the friendliest. Um, I, I'm working on it. She's getting halter trained right now. That's why she's got the halter on her face. I uh, I couldn't. I can't afford the expensive halter that has a retractable chain on it. So I literally just makeshift one. Like that's why there's a, an added um, pink rope into it. That right there helps me 
train her a little bit better when it comes time to walking. All right, um, she feels the, the the squeeze on her nose, and she's like, "Okay, I know I'm not supposed to do that." Um, mind you, she's not to that step yet. Right now, she's just got used to standing with the halter, uh, like fixed. Um, and she has access to food and water the entire time she's haltered. She's not haltered for more than a couple hours at a time. But we're, we're in the hard uh, breaking phase where she really doesn't like it. And she's not like, she's not, how do I put this? She's not wanting to cooperate as much yet. All right. Um, I know that this sounds mean and it, 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 it's not, it's really not. It's, it's so I'm able to work with her and so that I'm able to give her the best life. Now, if you look at how nice uh, Shirley is out there in the field, all right, I'll show you that sometime, um, probably in the next few days. If you look how nice she is, right, she started out completely unfriendly. Like, she didn't want anything to do with people, really. Like, she'll let you, like, be near her, but didn't want you touching her. Now she's all about love. Like, she wants hugs and kisses. She wants pets and scratches. And she aggressively, she'll chase me down if I don't give her enough, uh, like, scratches and let her kiss me enough. Like, to her satisfaction. But, you know, like, th that's a better problem to have than having a, a, a cow that, that won't let you touch her when it comes time to milk her, right? So... Like, how do I put this? I want my animals to be happy. I want them to be healthy. I want them to have the best possible life they possibly can. I don't want them to hurt in any way. All right? So I'm going to do literally everything I can at my own detriment to make sure that they're, you know, healthy, happy, and well-fed, groomed. Like, like, some of them like to be groomed. Like, I have brushes. Like, where is it? Here, let me, show, let me back up real quick next to the door. This stall right here was, uh, this first stall, this stall was uh, Shirley's stall. But, uh, yeah, see, brushes, right? Shirley liked to be brushed, so right next to her stall, there's a brush. So we're able to easily brush her. Um, I need to muck that stall out, but it hasn't been warm enough for long enough for the stall to, to defrost. And everything that's in there is caked layers that I have to muck out and... It's just, it's too frozen for me to actually, like, I mean, sure, if I uh, grabbed a pick or, or something like that, you know, maybe, but it's just not that likely. Um, and it's, it's way more work than I can physically handle. But anyways, I'm here to do just a little bit of work, so I should probably get to it. I'm going to start with, uh, with moving Sheldon's 2x4. Uh, uh, oh, he made... Hey, buddy, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be up there. Is it that silly? Is that what, what you were telling? Were you telling on him? Were you telling on him? Yeah, were you? Were you telling on him, baby? Hey, you're not supposed to be up there, buddy. You got to get down. Come on, get down. Don't lay down on it. You got to get down. I'm, I'm going to have to fix that. But we're here for you. We're, we're going to move your toy so that you can be happy over there. And then we'll bring you over. There's a hose coming from the far side. There. Uh, let me explain that. So, that hose right there. You just saw it. It's from uh, the well house, which is right outside my back door. Um, and... How do I put this? Uh, when they put in the, uh, what do you call it? The pipe for the hydrant that goes to the barn. They put it outside of the barn at its termination point, And they only put it about six inches down. <sighs> so it froze. And it burst. And I had to turn it, uh, luckily there's a cutoff for all the, the outside, uh, hydrants, but now I have to, I had to run a hose from all the way over there and it's a lot of work I'm taking out every day, but you know, they get water. Um, I need to get, get, I hear you, baby. I'll come get you in a second. Just give me a second. Okay. I have to get someone out to, to dig that up because there's no way I could physically dig that far right now. 
Um, not with how bad I've gotten this last year. Um, but once that's dug up, we can uh, fix the parts that are broken and replace the, uh, the pipe down just a little bit deeper and it'll be good to go. Um, anyways, let's get back to work. Actually, I'm gonna go get my kid and make her happy. And then I'm gonna get back to work. You're not gonna see me play with my baby right now. Maybe later, but right now, no. <laughs> Have you ever seen a goat walk so well on the leash? I was just gonna edit this part out, but I want I, I kinda wanted you to see how well he walks on the leash. But I'm gonna go put him in a stall now. Okay, he's got his toy in, he's got his uh, water in there. I need to get him a feeder, but um, if you can hear, that dude's not happy at all because he doesn't have anyone with him. Um, he's freaking out. Um, I'm gonna go get his mom and her kids, his, his brothers, so that they can go in there with him. What are you doing up there? Spider goat, spider goat. Does weird things like a spider goat. He jumps on walls and climbs them too. Whoa, watch out spider goat. I think, I think Sheldon's happy with this. You happy buddy? <laughs> He just jumped out. Dude, you're not supposed to be out here. Okay, I'll go get your mom first, and then I'll deal with you. Hey, what are you doing, dude? Why are you being a spider goat? <laughs> he literally just put himself in there. He literally just jumped over this, this gate right here and put himself in. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> He's playing with the broom. Okay, I'm gonna go get your mom now. <laughs> you hear that sound? It's the easiest way to call a mama. She's right behind me, see that? She will follow anywhere you take her kids. That, that's a good mom. We're almost in, come on. Let's go. Shelly, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Those are my tools. They're my toys. I'm gonna take my toys away. Just move it over here with the feed. 
There you go, that works. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, why don't you play with your toy? Here. Play with it. That's a good boy. Yeah, good boy. Hold on, buddy. I'm going to get you a feeder in there. A little feeder pan. Let's get you some, some hay. Good boy. Yeah, he's my buddy, if you can't tell. <laughs> Take good care of him. Oh, the water's overflowing. Oh no. Oh, poor, poor babies. Are they okay? Yeah, he's dry, where's his brother? Where is he? Where's the little guy? Oh, he's down there. <laughs> right down there. He's absolutely fine. On his feeder. Mama looks good. Brother looks good. Okay, we're good. Yeah, the water overflowed. <laughs> you good in here, buddy? You got enough water? Yeah, your water's good. How's your water, huh? Uh, I could probably take out some of that hay, <laughs> but her water looks good too. Okay, so let's see here. Um, next step will be getting the girls into the back. I got to close the gate that's back there real quick. Actually, I'm going to call the cows back there. Let's see if I can get this on camera for you because this is so cool when they do this. I gotta sneak out. I gotta sneak out here before they uh, they see me, so that uh, they, you can. Yeah, I just gotta sneak out here so she, before uh, before she can see me. Get up on here. Sure. Come on, big girl. Let's go. I got a whole bunch of love for you. Come on. I'm gonna have to put this down here in a second because when she gets up to me, uh, um, she's gonna demand love. But <laughs> Come on, Shirley. Oh, there's ribeye. Shirley! Shirley! Big girl. That's a good girl. Oh, good girl. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. We're gonna go in the stall. Or in the uh the we call it the crowd. Oh, you don't like the crowd? <laughs> come on, big girl. Let's go. Oh, here. Got to pay taxes. Yeah, that's my big girl. Good girl. Come on, let's go. Come on, mama. Let's go. 
I love that I can just walk her. It's great. She just loves love so much. She's my big girl. I'm going to give her some hugs and stuff, so I'm going to stop the camera. Okay, now that these guys have had their love and they have water and everything, uh, it's time to get the goats back here. Because, you know, we love them too. <laughs> it's not just about the cows. Come on, girls. Come on. Let's go, come on. Let's go, come on. Good girls, come on. Come on, mamas. Let's go. Oh no, the door's closing on them. I gotta kick a stick in the way. Good girl. I don't know which one you are. You're either Swarmer or Deli. I can't tell you guys apart. Oh, I think that, I don't remember. That one's Cabbage though. Hi, Cabbage. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Cabbage. Come on, Cabbage. Let's go. Come on, mamas. Come on, mamas. Let's go. Come on in. Oh no, Shirley, you gotta let him in. Oh, Shirley, you don't wanna come in here, baby. Come on. Come on. There you go. Hi, Ribeye. Come on, girls. Come on. Go home. Come on, girls. Let's go. Come on. Good girls. Come on, Sasperas. Let's go. Your last one. Good girls. There you go. There you go. And there's all this bedding all throughout right here. It's all clean. It's not bad or anything. So it'll be nice and warm. Shirley's not going to mess them or nothing. She's just looking for food. And she thought that the, uh, that Scotty right there uh, found some. So, <laughs> yep. So I'm almost done. All right. There's just a little bit left to do. Right, uh, I'm at the break another bale. Uh, let's see here. That door's ready and set. Cool, let's open this gate. Hi, lady. Okay, breaking bales are too easy. Do I have a hook over here? I think I do. I do. I got a hook over here. Grab a hook. So you don't have to reach the camera. And you grab your bale. Pull it down. Once it's down, come over here and grab the magic scissors. And just cut the bell. All right, now this bell is ready to go. And it's only about about that much that's about half a bale now that i got a bunch of hay all i have to do is walk over here open this gate magically because i only have one hand and it's holding the camera <laughs> then i'll show you in a second it's pretty cool i go to this stall door open it up come on girls here you go come get it And yeah, we're ready for winter. Well, I say ready for the snowstorm that says it's going to put out uh, up to 11 inches of snow for us. Um, I haven't seen that here yet, so I don't know, but it's better to be ready. You know, make sure all of our animals are able to get out of the snow and out of the rain. Um, make sure they're all able to be fed and watered. Yeah. Trust me, this is a lot less work than it was over at the uh, the other homestead. 
which um, uh, some questions have come up about that. Yes, we still have it. Yes, it's still a thing. Yes, it's still over there. I need to go get my stuff. Um, I'm going to continue to pay on it until I pay it off. It's not paid off yet, but I'm part. I'm I'm chopping it down slowly. Um, but yeah, that's it for this time. I'm. Thanks for coming on, on this journey of working for the goats and the cows and the happiness of the animals. And I'll see you probably next week.